Postal worker Pierce McGovern has just finished another shift at the Inniskillen sorting office, but for him the hard work is just beginning as the Inniskillen branch gets ready for another 24-hour postal strike. Pierce, who is the Communication Workers Union representative in Fermanagh, has coordinated the strike, which is taking place between 9pm on Friday and 9pm on Saturday. How have things got to this point? Uh, October 2007, industrial action taken over the, the way the, the business was, was being handled by Royal Mail. Uh, it lasted 10 days and uh, at the end of it there was a, an agreement. With, but in the meantime, Royal Mail decided that they were going to implement uh, different changes regards uh, how, you, how you come to work and how you stay at work and what you do when you're here. And it's like a time and motion study 24 hours a day. And uh, we were never given any peace to do the job properly. We were getting double checked out in the roads on, on, on deliveries. Uh, guys are here being driven mad. Uh, we've been uh, uh, up in the air as regards uh, people out trying to do an ordinary day's work for, for the few, the £250 we take home. Uh, were being treated as, as criminals more or less in many aspects. Uh, the, we had uh, investigation branch people following people about, we have Royal Mail managers following people about, and they see that as their job, as the followers about. But for the, for the type of business we're in, delivering mail, it's, it's not uh, rocket science to realise that, that if the postmen know what they're doing, then they know what they're doing. Royal Mail has said that it anticipates that some of its 26 delivery offices in Northern Ireland would be operating as normal on Saturday, but admitted that delays would be inevitable. What do you hope this weekend's strike will achieve? It is a legal picket. It's a legal, a legal ballot, a legal picket, legal everything about the thing. We're not doing anything illegal, yet we're being treated as, as criminals. And we're looking for all that uh, uh, leadership support from the councils and the MLAs and, the, and our MP. What's your message to Royal Mail? Uh, nobody here can afford to, wants to, or can afford to strike. And if you look at their pensions, our pension for 15 years, Royal Mail had what known, was known as a pension holiday, which leaves us now in a 10 billion deficit in our pensions. And there's a great fear among the, the staff here in Inniskillen and elsewhere that we will end up with no pension. That is the great fear. Last week, the postal workers here took part in the nationwide strike. At the minute, it's very quiet outside Inniskillen Postal Office, but the workers here will be hoping that come the weekend, this will all have changed, with many taken to the picket line. After that they will just have to wait and see if they have made a permanent stamp on Royal Mail policy. Niall McCracken, Fermanagh TV.